Hello, everyone. Welcome to semi-final baseball here in the Winter League Challenge. We have the Provolone Pandas versus the Manchego Mallards. Jeremy or Jerry Bellamy on the mound for the Pandas, and Aileen Guerra on for the home team Mallards. And let's get things going here, folks. First pitch of semifinals. Nelson Marin steps in for the Pandas, looks at a ball for a strike high. 97 on the gun there from Guerra. One and two, ball way outside. And full count. Man, good at bat there to start the game for Marin. Looks a walk. Here's Emmy Corker, 500, three homers, seven RBIs in the tournament. Looks at a strike. Of course, Guerra's more velocity pitcher. You see the bevy of fastballs that she sports. But that actually might have been a cutter in on the hands. Hiker is there, puts it away. That's the first now out. The right Here's Quintana, 273, no homers, one RBI. But Quintana's starting to hit a little bit better. In the last game, the Pandas and Boomerangs, she is hitting quite well. One and one on the time the runner goes. And out. Hiker throws out Marin at second base. And that one gets past diving. I believe that's fan there at second base. Now batting the first base. So number three. A little two out base knock, and that brings up Rass Frigate. And he fouls that one off. 402 homers and seven RBIs for him as well. One and two, 96 on the gun there from Guerra. And Newton tried to get him to chase, had that curveball down. Foul away. Two and two. And a base hit up the middle. And she's going to third. And safe. Good heads up base running. So runners now on the corners. We got Linda Lumber in, 231. No homers, three RBI so far in the tournament. And that is hit to O'Donnell. And there is out number three. So, Pandas were threatening. But they leave two on base. Now we go to the bottom of the first. Actually, be Kelvin Hiker to lead it off here. The catcher for the Mallards. Here's our look at Bellamy. Feeling tense already. See his extremely inflated ERA, and we'll talk about that in a moment. As Hiker works a leadoff walk here for the home team. Brings it to Raya Heaps, 273, no homers, two RBIs. Interesting move to put Hiker in the leadoff spot, being that he doesn't run well at all. There's a foul into the Pandas dugout. Got her. In on the hands. Keeps down on strikes. That brings up Kinestis, 55, no homers, and three RBIs for the Mallards DH. See, he's locked in. Power versus right, he's activating. His numbers are off the charts right now. Three no, two. Kinestis and eight fouls. And that one off. See the nice tugboat there, or steamboat rather. Three and two, and got him in on the hands again. Good pitch in there, fellow. Brings up Cork Moneywater, very hot hitter here for the Mallards. 500, one homer, six RBIs. Bellamy started his ERA at 43. Sports a four-seamer uh, screwball, screwball and a changeup. His ERA was very inflated. So that's three-one pitch, and that one's fouled away. Very inflated because Bellamy started. Bellamy started that uh, first game, and he walks it. That brings up diligence. Bellamy started the first game between the Pandas and Boomerangs, that 12-inning marathon. Pandas ultimately won 15 to 11, but he got knocked around by the boomerang quite a bit. And now accuracy in the red, so I don't think we're actually going to see him much longer. 
two and one to Diligence. And she pops that one up. Diligence hit 333, by the way. And Frigate puts it away. That's the final out. And we go to the top of the second. Six, seven, and eight do up. For the Pandas now. The Pandas, Pandas rotation has been used, or I should say not even rotation. Uh, Pandas just pitching <laughs> has been used a lot. So um, we'll have to see how that plays out as these games go along. One is grounded two keeps, and that should be and is the first out. There's Teddy Everett, 182 with one home, or uh, one RBI. I apologize. See, Guerra's ERA 5.40. She also started the first game. And that one is just through the right side for a base hit. And that brings up Elena Price. Number seven. Pretty good speed there on base pass for the Pandas. Let's see if they can make something happen here with one out in the top of the second. Ooh, way out in front, way, way, way out in front. Was Price on that big curve by Guerra. Two and one now. And now the 3-1 pitch. Good movement on that pitch right there. Three and two. Ball high. Try to get her to chase. Good bite. So two on now. One out. Janet Hamilton, the second baseman, steps in. Looks at a strike. Look at that big looping curveball. You gotta watch out for that one. Foul away. So Guerra started game number one, Grays versus Mallards. And she's down on strikes. Picks up the top of the order. Guerra walked his first time. Guerra pitched quite well. The Mallards, of course, won that game 10 to 3. And that one is a base hit into left field. They're sending the runner home, testing Carson's arm, but they decide not to. Now batting the center fielder. And hopefully, Number actually, Carson 20. is okay. I believe he got hit by a pitch. Hurt his Achilles, so we'll see how that plays out. And that one's off a of hiker's glove. The runner's coming home safe. So let's call that a pass ball. Off a of, uh, hiker's. Off a of hiker's glove, and that is a base hit. They're sending both runners home and out. Thrown out. I think that was court muddy water there, wasn't it? It's no in the right field. Throw out. Number but nonetheless, the Pandas get two runs here. They lead it. As we go to the bottom of the second, Ibarra steps in for the Mallards. Way inside. One and two. Two and two. And foul away. And fouled away again. Right to Price. And that's the first out. Really a fan. Fan not having a good tournament here. Only hitting 100. One RBI. And he pops that one up toward the booth. Steve Wright. Ooh, ball way inside. One and two. And got him swinging on the high and outside pitch. Tricks up Carson now. Carson, like I said, injured his Achilles. He was taken out of the ball game. And you can see he's looking weak. He's feeling locked in. That's a big blow here for the Mallards. As this is a 2-1 pitch. And, ooh, big healthy cut there from Carson. Taps that one to Frigate. And you can see Carson's not himself at the plate. Typically, you know, a big healthy cut in breaking ball like that. Carson tee that off. 538 so far this tournament, but uh, he's just not himself. So let's see how that plays out for the Mallards in the semifinal. Here's number three hitter Quintana up for the Pandas. She hits that one into right center. Muddy Water is there. Now batting the first baseman, number three. Friggin one for one so far today. 
This will be Guerra's 50th pitch, believe it or not, here in the top of the third. Not being the most economical pitcher out there. And <laughs> that said, that's another walk. We'll have to see how many walks at the end of the game. Actually, maybe not, because we're... <laughs> That's why Guerra wasn't pitching well. Well, look at that, folks. This is interesting. And that one is <laughs> off of O'Donnell's glove. So, interesting stuff here. Guerra is pulled for elbow pain. That's why she wasn't pitching well. However, Chip Houston comes in, and Chip Houston is still feeling weak. Chip Houston, of course, got hit. Actually, the game that Guerra started back in game number one of, Jesus, of the Winter League Challenge. So, this is interesting. And that one's tapped. Diligence fields and fires across the diamond. It keeps. That's out number two, but the runners do advance to second and third. And Teddy Everett steps in. Second and third, two outs here, top of the third. One and one to Everett. A little high. I thought that was a good pitch. And that looked like a gimme back to me. And hit, but right at Muddy Water, and that's out number three. So the Pandas, they strand a pair of runners. But you know what? The Mallards kind of got out of that one. If I'm being honest, the Mallards kind of snuck out of that inning unscathed. So here's Emerson O'Donnell. She taps that one into center field for a base hit. So that is her first hit of the tournament. That brings Number up top of the order at Kelvin Hiker. O'Donnell runs quite well at first base. All right. And that one's ripped into the gap and left. Left center. And they're going to hold the runner at third. So it's runners in the corners. Nobody out now. Bottom of the third. Zarai Heap steps in Number over for one so far. Base hit puts the Mallards with him one. One one. 85 mile an hour change up there. There's a 91 mile an hour. And that actually looks like a screwball that just kind of laid there flat. Keeps, hits that one high and far and gone into the second deck. Holy cow. What a tank. 442 foot shot. Fifth RBI of the tournament, and the Mallards take the 3 to 2 lead. Here's Keaton Estes steps in. 51st pitch here now for Bellamy. And boy, he's been roughed up this tournament. There's a line out to Marin, that's out number one of the inning. Muddy Water steps in. He walks his first time up. That it looked like it was a uh, screwball to heaps that just kind of stayed flat. Didn't have kind of that lateral movement like a screwball should have. That's a foul ball. One and two. And that's ripped. Ooh. Forget recovers. Right off the, uh, looked like it might have been off the heel of the glove. Number 35. And here's Madeline Diligence. With two outs in the bottom of the third. Bellamy, accuracy. In the red now. Lots of movement on his stats. It's kind of in the no man's land. Marin fires, and that's the final out. But the Mallards get a big three spot here in the bottom of the third. Top of the fourth will be an 8 9 to 1 duo. Or the Verbal of Let's see how much longer Houston lasts out here to the Mallards because, like I said, he's, he's hurt. That's a big loss to Guerra hurt. To Houston, he recovers though, and that's out number one. Now that the second baseman, number 23. Make a note too that where it was pulled. Steve Wright. That's we'll be sure to check on her as Janet Hamilton looks at it. two balls and one strike. Full count now, good at bat here for Hamilton, and she walks. 
I'm thinking we're going to see a lot of Pandas players, uh, a lot of walks at the end when we do the breakdown. Salazar comes in. Wow, there's a lot of things that just happened there. <laughs> Contact versus righties, high pitch and speed were all activated at once. Good block behind the plate there by Hiker. And a check on the runner, safe. 2-0 to Marin, top of the order here. 2-1. Ball 3 and one Seen Salazar quite a bit out of this now. And that is ball 4. So 2-1 on now. 1 out. Emmy Corker steps in. Very, very good speed here on the base pass for the Provolone Pandas. And that one is teed off and is a no-doubter. Off. Actually, I think it got under the facade. It is a three-run dinger. 392-foot shot. Corker, fourth homer. 11th RBI of the tournament. Now Emmy Corker, have yourself Miller, a tournament. Number 12. Provolone Pandas take the 5-3 to three lead. Here's Quintana. As Salazar now looks tense. 2-1 and one on Quintana. And that one's off of Salazar. She recovers the getter. No. Quintana beats it out. The first baseman. And Friggin steps in one for one single and a walk so far today. And ooh, right down the line. And no chance to go to third. So now runners on first and second now. And the hitter, lumber steps in. Number 35. One out, runners on first and second, top of the fourth. Salazar's accuracy in the red as well. And you know, I think that one's hit into, is that gonna get down? No, it doesn't, Barra is there. Runner tags, goes to third, so it's runners in the corners now. And two outs, and Padilla steps in. Number 21. Nice. Padilla has a uh, little Rowley Fingers kind of mustache. That's, yeah, that's pretty awesome with the little curls at the end. That one's hit quite well. Does that have the distance? It does. Boy, that just kept carrying. So Padilla with the home run. Second homer, sixth RBI of the tournament. Is that three run dingers? Two run digger, three run digger. I, couldn't, I can't keep track anymore. It's eight to three, Provolone Pandas over the, the Manchego Mallards. And that's a base hit up the middle. It's a hit fest here for the Pandas. What do I always say, too, about the Pandas? All right, Perez is going to come in. We've seen Perez quite a bit. Both these teams, their pitching staffs have been used quite a bit. There's out number three. What? have I said all tournament long about the Provolone Pandas. Once they get through that batting, once they get through the, uh, the lineup like once, then, then those bats start to heat up. They are a power hitting ball club. That one has popped up. And that's out number one here. Bottom half of the inning. There's Elliot Van in the one. All right, Bellamy is pulled Bunt, uh, Bunt Benson. Benson's pitched quite well for the Pandas. A 2.08 ERA. Popped up again. Corker is there for power number two. Here's Carson. Over one. Number eight. Feeling weak again. And that injured Achilles. What have I said, folks? That's a pop-up. Right to Hamilton. That's out number three, and that was a quick inning. That's not. That's not what the uh, Mallards wanted to do. That six spot there. Six spot in the fourth inning. Pandas. Once they get through that that first round of the of the lineup, you know, once they see that starter, once they get into the bullpen, that one's popped up. That's out. Once they get into that bullpen, that's when these that's when these pandas bats kind of start heating up. That one's grounded right back to Perez, and Marin is out. 
Now brings in the Corker, field. two for three, home Number run single, one. four RBIs today. Corker, again, just having a hell of a game. Hell of a game. And another base hit. Oh, that one gets all the way to the wall. And she's going for two, she digs. And she's gonna get there with a double, with a two out double here in the top of fifth. But we saw that with the pandas. With the boomerangs, we saw that. Um, and it's just interesting. It's, it's carrying over here, and the mallards, they have a plus rotation, so. But again, Guerra's pulled, so. A lot of things happening here, folks. A lot of things to keep track of. <laughs> Quintana looks at a strike, now it's two and two. And now three and two, that'll. That's a foul ball. And grounded to Heaps. He flips to Perez, there's out number three. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. O'Donnell leads it off. Now in one the for game, one with the same number so 30. And we have an injury to... Fair ball. So many things happening. Fair ball down the line, first off. And an injury to Emmy Corker. That is now not good. The catcher, number 30. That is not good. Here's Hiker. And he hits that one right at Mendez. So Mendez takes over for Corker in center field. That brings in Zarai Heaps, one for two with a homer today. Good speed on the base pass here for the Mallards. Benson's still out there working away. That's high. Oh, high. Two and one. Oh, that's inside. Three and one. Good hitters count here for Heaps, and she looks at the ball four, way high from Benson. So, Nestis, two so far today. Good speed on the base pass here for the Mallards. So first and second, one out. Bottom of the fifth. Outside. Ball outside. That looks. Pretty good to me, though. Looked pretty close. That's outside. And, ooh, Marin is there to snare that one, and that's out for two. Three muddy waters over the right. walk. Let me tell you, folks, Number seen a lot of games here, and that's a base hit into right field, and they hold the runners. They're not going to test the arm. And it's the base is loaded for Madeline Diligence. It's 0 for 2. Number 35. And hitting 286 in the corner. Base is juiced. Ducks literally on the pond. And ooh, that may have been the pitch to hit. Ball outside, 3 and 1. Here's a good hitter's count for diligence. Steve Wright. That may have been the pitch to hit. moving on that slider. Though. And oh, that sneaks by. Sneaks under the glove of the shortstop. One run comes home. Two runs come home. It's an 8-5 ball game. And Benson is out. McIntosh comes in. Hopefully calm down these Mallard's bats. Runners in the corners now. Two outs, bottom of the fifth. That was fouled away. Guevara looks at strike three. Wow. See that movement on that pitch? That was, that was an exceptional pitch. But Mallards are coming back. They get two runs okay. here at the bottom of the fifth. They go to the top of the sixth. Number Rasser three. Frigate leads it off here for the Pandas. Ball inside. Nope. 3-0 oh now, Frigate. And there's a strike, Perez working back. And walks. The lumber steps in, one for three with a single. And this seems to be the downfall. Oh, look at this. No chance there, Fan. Fan can't get the runner. A little hit and run action. Number 21. So runner advances to second. We have one out now. Dia steps in. Right. 0-2 now on Padilla. Try to get him to chase high. 
And two and two. Got him swinging through it. Good pitch. There for Prowlett Perez. Teddy Ever. Two for three, two singles. So I was saying earlier, I've seen a lot of games here at Lafayette Corner. And that's about the quietest I've seen, I've, I've heard Lafayette Corner. That's a base, or more than a base, that's extra bases. Into left center. Runner comes home. It's a 9 5 ball game. That's a two out RBI double. Number it serves a lot of price. And Perez is pulled. Pretend Dapper comes in. And again, this, this Lafayette corner quieted down by the Provolone Pandas bats. Out of the way. Outside. There's strike three. Good pitching to get Price. But the Pandas get another run here in the top of the six. Bottom third of the order due up for the home team balance. Elliot Fan leads it off over two. And like I said, this is just a quiet. Oh, that one sneaks under the glove. Hamilton. And the Mallards have a base runner. It's like they're, they keep. They keep climbing back, they keep coming back, they keep getting hits, they keep stringing together a couple of these hits for the Mallards. Really put them back into this ball game. 2-1 now on Carson. He's popped up every single time he's been up. He's just not looking right at the plate. Honestly, if, you know, Mallards managers call, but if it was me, I would have sit him for a couple of games. He's been playing through this injury. That one's hit quite well. It's going to be a gapper. Mendez fields it off the wall. They send the runner home. Safe. It's a 9-6 ball game. There's Kelvin Hiker now. One for two, single and a walk. The runner, very good speed there at second base. One out. And Hiker launches that one. Mendez is there, the runner tags. So two outs now, runner on third. Here's the bottom of the sixth. The right heap steps in. One for two, home run block, three RBI so far today. And that one is popped up, and that gets down. Runner scores. And it's an RBI single for Heaps. The 9 7 ball game. Again, stringing together a couple of these hits. The Mallards are just keep coming back, coming back. There's Keaton Estes. Two outs here. Keeps on first base. Two and one. Mallards fans are in it. On their feet. This is a base hit. Extra bases. Again. Oh no, Mendes plays that beautifully off the wall. That runner's coming home and safe. It's an RBI single for Estes. A long RBI single. It's a 9-8 ball game. And Cork Moneywater steps in. Look at these Mallards fans on their feet. Oh! Muddy Waters plunked directly in the noggin. And Acosta in the pinch run. And Idle on the pitch. Okay, that is not good. Uh, grounded to Price, that should be the final out, and it is. Um, that's not good. Bead. And we're going to have a defensive replacement here. Actually, didn't pop up yet. Grounded to O'Donnell. Out number one here in the top of the seventh, folks. So, again, a lot happened there. So, Dapper still on the mound. Marin in now, top of the order here for the Pandas. Manchego Mallards within one. It's grounded to heaps, and that's out number two. Mallards just keep fighting back. But I have to say, 
This is this is very interesting. These poor mallards. Foul ball. And good pitching there by Dapper. Stamina. Her, uh, oh. Meters were flashing red there, but Keeps takes that herself. So this is the last chance for the Mallards to come back, hopefully win this ball game, or at least tie it up. Six, seven, and eight to run no, them here at the bottom of the seven. No, and we're gonna have a pinch hitter or comes in off the bench. His first at bat here of the tournament. It's fouled down the line. And fouled away again. Idle looking to close this game out here for the Pandas. This has been a this has been a close game and a good game. Right to Hamilton, that's out number one. Here's Elliot Fan. Look at tenth of the play, one for three with a single. Fan with the base hit up the middle. Again, Mallards string together a couple of hits. Let's see what happens. Austin Carson 0 for 3. Popped up three times at the plate. You see his average has gone down quite a bit. To start at, like above 500. 2 0 on Carson. There's a strike. 2 1 now. A healthy cut at that, two and two. Got him swinging. Again, Carson just not looking like himself at the plate. Emerson O'Donnell, three for three today. Having a heck of a game. Extra base hit here might tie this ball game. Not exceptional speed in base pass. Three and oh to O'Donnell. Steve Wright. And she's walked. So tying the run on second base. Here's Kelvin Hiker. On top of the order. And McGillies. Closer coming in to hopefully finish this game out here for the Pandas. Ball inside. Kelvin Hiker looks at a strike. One and one. And Frigate with the diving stop, flips to McGillies, and that's out number three. And boy, that was a heck of a ball game, folks. But the Provolone Pandas win. They win nine to eight. And let's take a look at the lines. 9-13 and 0 for the Provolone Pandas, 8-11 and 0 for the Manchego Mallards. And there's a lot to go through with this, folks. And I just want to, I just want to cover something real quick before before we get to the the offense or anything. We have Guerra was pulled early because of the elbow pain. Muddy Water got beaned in the head. We already know that Carson um, has an Achilles problem, and he's not feeling himself. Those are three really really big players. Three exceptionally big, important players to this Mallards team that are injured right now. Uh, Guerra, Ace, pulled because of elbow pain, just did not look like herself. Um, we'll have to check how many walks. We'll get to that in a moment. Muddy Water, again, beamed in the head. Hopefully he's okay. Um, we'll have to see what happens next game. Um, see what his weak stats look like. Um, and then just Carson. Carson popped up three times, struck out his last time up 0 for 4 today. Um, that's a, Those are really, really big, important players in this Mallards team. Now, flip side, uh, Emmy Corker pulled. Um, Emmy Corker had a hell of a game, and she was pulled for the Pandas. That's an important part. That's like a tent pole of that lineup. Um, just a quick breakdown. There's a lot happening with this, with this game. But uh, it, was a, it was a heck of a game, folks. It was an incredible game. So let's take a look here at the at the offense side of things. Um, up and down this Provolone Pandas lineup, we got hits. Of course, Corker, three for four, a homer, four RBIs. 550 she's hitting. She's hurt now. We'll have to see what happens next game. But that is such an important player in this lineup. Um, so Quintana, two hits. Frigate, two hits. Um, 
Also forget two walks. Three for four was Everett with an RBI. And also Padilla, one for, one for uh, four, the home run, three run homer. So six walks on the Provolone Panda side. And pretty much all of those walks I'm sure scored because that's, that's what happens, walks, four runs. Uh, four walks on the Mallard side, but also five strikeouts. So let's take a look at the Mallard's offense. Two for three with a homer and four RBIs and a walk and a strikeout with Zarai Heap. She had a great game. And then two for four was Elliot Fan. Three for three. Emerson O'Donnell, like, all of a sudden hit. Um, that, I think she got her first three hits of the tournament uh, today. So... <laughs> So good on her. She also has an RBI and a walk. That's that's fantastic. And then a bunch of hits there from Hiker. Again, putting Hiker at the top of the order, not entirely sure why. He's hitting for average, but he's not a fast runner. Um, maybe it's just not not a spot for him in the lineup. But your catcher leading off is kind of kind of out of the order. But again, he's a Mallard fan of this call. Um, and then Diligence uh, had two RBIs as well and uh, a couple of other hits throughout Navarra. 0 for 4, 0 for 1. Carson, again, like I said, 0 for 4. Um, just a rough game. Rough game. Rough game for these Mallards. A rough tournament for these Mallards. Now, you get to, and you can tell, too. This is the other thing I want to just bring up real quick. You can tell how, difference this, how different this tournament is from regular Cheese League baseball. Regular Cheese League baseball, um, honestly, I don't think we saw this many injuries at all in regular Cheese League baseball. Um, over the course of a season, again, it was 24 games, but nonetheless, over the course of a full season of play, definitely didn't see this many injuries. Um, and these teams are just throwing everything they can at, you know, at, at every game just to win the tournament. And I'm sure we'll see that when we take a look at the pitchers. So the pitching staffs in all of these clubs um, are just, they're just exhausting, especially on the Purple and Panda side, I'd say. Uh, Bellamy... You know, he pitched quite well. Um, gave up three earned runs, but brought his brought his ERA down considerably. Uh, Benson came in. He gets the win. McGillies gets the save. Um, Benson, McIntosh, Idle, all pretty darn good pitchers here for the Pandas. Um, now look at Guerra. Two to third innings pitch for Guerra. She just pulled. Um, Three walks, gave up three walks in that two and a third. Uh, you see the other walks throughout throughout there. But uh, Salazar gave up the big five earned runs. Uh, just tough. Houston does get the loss. So that's his first loss of the tournament. And uh, also, let's shout out Bud, Bud Benson. Bud Benson's third win of this tournament. Third win, folks. Um, he's a reliever like it's, it just tells you how how used these program pandas and the pitching staff is all right take a look at the top three emmy corker three for four a home run a double four rbis and a run of course we'll have to keep you guys updated on what corker is uh what her status is Let's see zarai heaps two for three a homer four rbis and three runs and then every single double there gets a shout out three for three a double an rbi and three runs and folks what a heck of a game here to kick off the semifinals in the Cheese League uh, Winter League tournament. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up. We appreciate the love and support here on YouTube. Also check out all the other fun videos that we have available, including the full entire 2020 Cheese League baseball season. Of course, that's up here on YouTube. You can check the whole thing out. It's lots of fun. Get to know your teams, get to pick a team, uh, because soon enough, uh, regular Cheese League Baseball is going to be started. Um, also, please do follow us on Twitter at Geek underscore Cheese. It's where you get all of your Winter League Baseball, Cheese League Baseball, fun announcements and other things that we'd like to share. And check out our second channel, twitch.tv slash Geek Cheese. All right, folks, that's it for me right now. I will see you next time. Take care. Have a good one. Provolone Pandas win. Bye.